so basically pipes and system and time and work both the chapters will have a similar approach that means hidden plugin strategy but only the difference is in time and work you are going to see work constant in pipes and system you are going to see tank capacity constant and in time and work you will be having only positive work or positive efficiency but in pipes and system you will be having both positive and negative efficiency why because in pipes and system you will be seeing the two terms called inlet and outlet inlet is a pipe which is used to fill the pipe fill the tank so when you are taking efficiency you can take the positive sign for it. outlet is nothing but the pipe which is used to leak the tank while you are taking efficiency you can take the negative for it. So these are the only few points which you have to remember. Remaining approaches similar to time and work. So just inlet and outlet pipes. So inlet is nothing but the pipe which is used to fill the tank. When you are taking efficiency, take a positive sign for it. And outlet is nothing but the pipe which is used to leak the tank. When you are taking efficiency, you can take a negative sign. And remaining process is similar to time and work. So let's look at a simple question given. If you observe this question, a tank can be filled by pipe A in 10 hours and pipe B in 12 hours. At 6 am, pipe A is open. At what time the tank will be filled if pipe B is opened at 8 am? Okay. So, if you observe the individual time taken, A is taking 10 hours of time, B is taking 12 hours of time. What is the LCM of 10 and 12? It is going to be 60. So, what I am assuming is, I am assuming the total tank capacity is 60 liters. As per the data, A can fill 60 liters of tank in 10 hours of time. That means it can fill 6 liters in every 1 hour. B can fill same 60 liters of tank by taking 12 hours of time. That means it can fill 5 liters in every 1 hour. But as per the question, they mention the data at 6 am, pipe A is opened. At what time the tank will be filled if pipe B is opened at 8 am? That means you can clearly understand from 6 am to 8 am in this period of time who is working you can just observe. So pipe A is opened at 6 am. Pipe A is opened at 6 am and pipe B is opened at 8 am. So between 6 to 8 these two hours only pipe A is working. Pipe A is capable of filling 6 liters in every one hour. If 2 hours it is working, 2 into 6, which can complete 12 liters of tank. So, out of 60 liters of the tank, 12 liters of the tank is filled by pipe A. Now, what happens at 8 am? Pipe B is also. That means now pipe A and pipe B are open. What is the time taken to finish the remaining tank is the question. So, remaining tank means out of 60 liters, 12 liters over. The leftover tank is going to be 60 minus 12, which is 48 liters. And this 48 liters is finished or filled by whom? Both A and B. You know that A can fill 6 liters per hour, B can fill 5 liters per hour. If both are working together, they are capable of filling 11 liters in every 1 hour. To fill 48 liters, the time taken will be 48 divided by 11. That means it will take 4, 4 by 11 hours. 4, 4 by 11 hours. After 8, it will take another 4, 4 by 11 hours. So, what is 4 by 11 hours if you convert into minutes? 1 hour is 60 minutes. So, 4 by 11 hours means 11 FISA. So, it will give a result as 20 minutes. So, you can observe it will take another 4 hours and 20 minutes approximately to finish the tank or fill the tank. So, you are able to see. After 8 o'clock, it is taking 4 hours 20 means, minutes means 8 plus 4, 12, 20 is a time taken to finish the time. So, mark the answer choice as going to be option A. Look at the next question. A pipe can be filled in uh, 6 hours. A pipe can fill the uh, cistern or tank in 6 hours. Due to leakage at the bottom, it is filled in 7 hours. When the system is full, how much time will it be emptied by the leakage pipe? Okay. So, you can observe if only pipe A is working, it can fill the entire tank in 6 hours, which is clearly given. Due to leakage at the bottom, that means uh, while it is filling, some leakage is happening at the end. So, filling and leaking are happening parallelly, then it is taking 7 hours. 
generally leakage is there that's why it is taking more time than the previous it is taking seven hours now the question is if only leakage pipe is there so you can understand pipe b is a leakage pipe if only leakage pipe is there what is the time taken to empty the full tank is the question so i am just taking lcm of the numbers 6 and 7 6 7 lcm is 42 i am assuming total tank capacity is 42 liters a can fill 42 liters in 6 hours that means it can fill 7 liters in every one hour if pipe a is filling pipe b is leaking filling and leaking is happening simultaneously then it is taking 7 hours that means the same 42 liters are filled by a and b in 7 hours means it can fill 6 liters in every 1 hour 6 liters in every 1 hour so now you can understand 7 liters is filled by a and something is leaked by b but if a and b are working together it is filling only 6 that means what should be the leakage 7 minus something is equal to 6 why i am taking minus because it is a leakage pipe i already told you when it is an inlet or filling pipe you will be taking a positive sign for efficiency when it is an outlet or emptying pipe you will be taking negative sign for the efficiency so 7 minus something is 6 that means you can understand pipe b can leak 1 liter in every 1 hour if it is able to leak 1 liter in every 1 hour to leak entire 42 liters it will take 42 hours of time mark the answer choice as 42 hours hope it is If you observe this question, three pipes A, B, C can fill the system in six hours. After working together for two hours, C is closed. Then A and B can fill the system in eight hours. Then find the time taken in which the system can be filled by pipe C alone. So, again, here A, B, C are able to fill the tank. A, B, C are able to fill the tank by taking 6 hours of time. If ABC are able to fill the tank in 6 hours, what is the tank capacity? We don't know. I am taking the tank capacity as 60 liters. If 60 liters is a tank capacity, ABC together can fill 60 liters in 6 hours. That means they can fill 10 liters in every 1 hour. 10 liters in every 1 hour. And now, if you observe here, after working together for 2 hours, that means all the three pipes are worked for two hours. If all the three pipes are working, they can fill 10 liters in every one hour. If they are working for two hours of time, how many liters it can fill? It can fill 20 liters of tank. Out of 60 liters of tank, 20 liters is already filled. What is the remaining? Remaining will be 60 minus 20, which is equal to 40 liters. And now, if you observe the data, they mention that after two hours, C is closed and A and B can fill the system in eight hours. So that means this remaining 40 liters of tank is filled by A and B. A and B filled 40 liters of tank by taking eight hours of time. If they are filling 40 liters in eight hours, it was very clear that they can fill five liters of tank by taking every one hour of time. So now the question here is, pipe c alone pipe c alone can fill the tank in how many hours so now what i am doing is i am trying to understand a plus b plus c we know it as 10 a plus b plus c is efficiency of a b c together is equal to 10 and a and b together are filling 5 that means what should be the capacity of c i can definitely say that c can fill only 5 liters in every 1 hour if C is able to fill only 5 liters in every 1 hour, to fill entire 60 liters, what will be the time taken? 60 by 5, which is going to take 12 hours of time. Your answer must be 12 hours, which is available as option A, mark it as answer choice.